God bless y'all. God bless you. Hey, um, I just want to remind you that you are so blessed. <laughs> God love you so, so much. And you are so, so necessary for such a time as this. Don't you know you yourself? It's pretty much your own community. You are so important in God's body. You know, the Bible document that we are all different members, but in one body. With the love of God flowing and connecting us all together, just like one body have different members. You have the eyes, you have the nose, you have the ears, you have the fingers. But the breath is one. The life Jesus said, you know, he breathed the breath of life into man and man became a living soul. So God Almighty is the life, hallelujah, that keeps the body together. Hallelujah. If the finger is detached from the body, it's lifeless. Just like the Bible document, a branch in a tree. The tree, living tree, is the life mechanism. And the branch that's connected to the tree has the source of life flowing through it. Like we have the source of life flowing through us when we are connected to the tree of life. God, the bread of life. The source of life, the almighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, let me say this to you. If you disconnect yourself like a branch, disconnect itself from a tree, you can do nothing, the Bible says. He said, without me, you can do absolutely nothing. But you are so important. You know, when I was little, I would go to church and I would be with my parents, and, and, and they would uh, give me this little bread, this little cracker, <laughs> and this little juice. You know, you ever experienced that? And a man of God would read a scripture, and he will say, you know, this juice represents my blood. We're talking about the blood of Christ that was shed on a cross for us. And the, and the bread represent my body that was broken that was sacrificed that we may have eternal life he said do this in remembrance of me now you know when I was younger I would you know be kind of afraid to you know drink that stuff because the bible um, document as I heard the man of God at a young age say make sure you repent of all your sins before you take this because a lot of people have fallen asleep because they didn't take this worthy. They didn't check themselves. They didn't repent. They didn't take it humbly. They just took it, you know, like, like it was just some regular food. But Jesus want us to know, no, 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 this is just not just regular bread, regular crackers or regular juice. No, this is symbolically a sign of what I have done. For you. And when I would take that, I would always say, Lord, forgive me for all my sins. Let me make sure I am worthy to receive this thing called communion. And you know, the Bible document that Jesus said, do this in remembrance of me. Every time, do it often. And often as you do it, do it in remembrance of me. You know, we can think about what Jesus did a long time ago on the cross for us and be so grateful and appreciative. And that's a beautiful thing. And I really believe that's what that means. God gave me some revelation, though, just to let you know how important you are as a member. He said we are have a, 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 a lot of members, but part of one body. Like I told you about the finger, the toe, things of that nature. He said, remember Have you been disconnected to the body where you detach yourself as a member, like a finger 
detach itself from a body or a toe? And do you feel lifeless? God is saying, remember yourself back to the body. You know, the body, the Bible says, it document, he said, if the eye caused you to sin, pluck it out. Rather you lose that one eye than have your whole body to perish in hell. He said, if your, uh, your, 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 your right hand cause you to sin, cut it off. Rather than lose your, uh, it's, it's better than lose that one hand than lose your whole body and your soul go to hell. So when you look at that as body, you never, now it's like, okay, wait a minute. What does light have to do with darkness? We are a holy, we, we are a holy gen, uh, generation. We are holy people, meaning to be set apart, to do the service and the work of Christ. We are detached from the worldly system, which is the worldly body. Now we have new, we're new in Christ Jesus, and we are attached to the body of Christ. Do you feel detached? Remember yourself back to the members. You may be that finger. You may be that eye. Don't allow sin to cause uh, a sinful relationship or a sinful attitude or a sinful conduct or a sinful um, decision to cause you to be remembered. I mean, I mean, uh, detached and be disconnected and not a member of the body. But remember yourself by repenting. When you remind yourself what Jesus did on the cross, don't just focus and think about what he did only, but let that be a positioning of regathering yourself back to the body of Christ. Bring yourself as a member back to the source of life, Jesus Christ. Don't do things your way like that branch disconnected from the tree with no source of life, but rather humble yourself, acknowledge the Lord in all your ways and let him direct your path that you may have life and life more abundantly. You know, when you look at the word communion, I look at it as the, I believe the spirit of God gave me revelation is we're just, it's like a community of believers coming together on one accord, serving one God, allowing only the Holy Spirit, the one dunamis power manifesting it himself through us with the love of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So communion is to be a community on one accord, believing one God. Hallelujah. That's how when we take communion, let's not just take it and just take it as a cracker and a juice and just say, oh, I remember that some good he did. No, he did something that you and I may position ourselves to be reconnected, be remembered to the members of that one body. He said, it's a lot of members. You have a member. I, I'm a member. Everybody individually have a responsibility to trust, believe, honor God by receiving his son, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So when you take communion and you do this, reposition yourself, repent from evil, turn away from evil and do good. Repent, position yourself back to the interests of Jesus Christ by living a righteous life and doing what thus says the Lord through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. So remember God in your mind, but also be connected back to the Father through Christ Jesus by living a righteous life. God bless you.